So this time we're going to go ahead and do a bowline again and we're going to show how to put the safety on it so it doesn't come off, accidentally get tugged or pulled and come undone in the safety application. So first I'm going to take my tail and put it underneath to make an underhand loop. Then grabbing, taking two fingers, I'm going to reach through that and grab a bite of the body and pulling it through, making a very loose slip knot. Right? Now I take my tail and I'm going to come back in from behind so the tail is going to end up on the inside of my bowline and I collapse the slip loop. Now you can see in this case my tail is pretty short and I'm going to need a long tail to be able to safety it. So I can simply work the, the knot through. So I'm going to pull some of the body through to make the loop bigger, like so. And now you can see the loop is bigger. I'm going to push through on the bite and pull the tail. So I've got a nice long tail now to work with. Properly dressed and seated, everything's in its proper place. The tail is on the inside of the bowline. Now I'm simply going to do a half hitch. I'm going to come around the outside, doing one turn around that side of the loop. Take the head or the tail and put it back through. So I'm making an overhand knot around this section of the loop and pull it tight, making sure it stays seated fairly close to the bowline itself, the knot. This is now a half hitch attached to the, the loop of the bowline. So now, no matter what happens to this part, it cannot get yanked apart and undo the bowline itself.